Test. There we go. All right. We would like to welcome everyone to this August 27th meeting of the Corsicana ISD Board of Trustees. This is a regularly scheduled meeting and all items that will be discussed have been duly po posted. While this is a meeting in the public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby for audience for guests and follow the instructions on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budget, make policy, and provide oversight. We are not here to solve or manage individual problems. Management is the responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe we must educate every child, give every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and provide a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. And these are our core values. We appreciate your interest in the students at CISD. We do have all seven board members in attendance, and so we do have a quorum. The first item on our agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> invocation and that will be given by Dalen Caldwell. Let us pray. God, we come to you as humble as we know how. First off, we want to start by giving thanks. Thank you for the things that you've done, things that you're currently doing, and most of all, thank you for the things that you're going to do. God, I ask you to cover and lead this meeting as you see fit. Cover our board, cover our superintendent, cover our staff and leaders, and most of all, cover our students. God, we know without you, nothing is possible. We're leaning and we're trusting on you. God, thank you for covering Mrs. Rogers. We're keeping her in our prayers, and we know that the same blood that your son shed on the cross is the same blood that we know that will heal Mrs. Rogers. God, we ask all these things in your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen. Next is audience for guests. Okay. We don't have any audience for guests, so next on the agenda is discussion and action items. The first is to adopt the 2024-2025 tax rate. Good evening, Ms. Sal, Madam President, board members. Uh, the first item before you are the proposed tax rates for the new fiscal year. We have an MO rate of 0 0.66690 and an INS rate of 0 0.19510, which totals to 0 0.862000. Uh, this is a slight decrease from last year. This is an action item and it needs your approval. Are there any questions? How much of a decrease are we going to experience this year? It was point. Just for our audience, so everyone knows that we are decreasing the tax rate, which is mandated to sit to all school districts, not just CSD, right. by the Texas Education Agency. We are not allowed to set that on our own. That is given to us. So I wanted to make that clear to um, our constituents sure. that that is dictated to us and not something that we're allowed to vary from. So what what is the decrease? 0 0.0023. And last year we experienced almost a 30 cent decrease and we Correct. are decreasing again. Correct. It is not an increase, it is a decrease. Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So we have an action item to uh, approve the MO tax rate of 0 
and the INS rate of 0.19510. I move to approve the maintenance and operation tax rate of 0.66690 at the interest and sinking rate of 0.19510. Okay, I have a motion and a second to approve the MNO tax rate of 0.66690 and an INS rate of 0 0.19510. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Our tax rate is approved. Next on the agenda is to approve the 24-25 budget. All right. Uh, our next items before you are the 199 fund, the 240 fund, which is child nutrition and the 599, which is the uh, debt service fund for the 24-25 fiscal year. Uh, we've talked a lot about 199 uh, in these budgets over the last six to eight weeks. Um, I presented last Monday. I, I don't, uh, are there any questions as you're looking at this? Again, for those that um, are watching from home, we have thoroughly went through this budget. We've had a budget committee. Um, our staff, Superintendent Howell, have combed through to make sure that we are cutting where we can and ensuring that uh, the monies that we have available are being spent wisely and to educate our kids. And so the reason that we do have a deficit is because we are underfunded by the state of Texas and our governor uh, continues to hold our money hostage because he's trying to uh, get his agenda passed. And so when he does that, we all suffer. Our kids suffer. And so at this point, we are looking at a, is it 2.665 million dollar deficit. And we are not alone. I would say probably 90%, 95% of school districts in our state are having to pass a deficit budget. More, most of them much greater than what we are at. Um, so that is the reason for the deficit because we have not received any increased funding since 2019. We are getting paid 2019 rate and we're living in 2024. Correct. And inflation, as we all know, has affected everyone. And so if you haven't gotten a pay raise, since 2019, you probably aren't able to pay your bills. And that is where we're at today. So, any questions, any comments? This is an action item. I move that we approve the 2024-2025 budget as presented. Second. So we have a motion and a second to approve the 2024-2025 budget as presented. All in favor? Any opposed? All right, that passes. Thank you. Next item on our agenda is the consent agenda. I move that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Do you have a second? Okay. I have a motion and second to approve the consent agenda as presented. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Uh, consent agenda is approved. We will now move into closed session as, as permitted by Texas Governance Code Section 551.01.